Okay, so today is 331-2020. We're going to chart the Dow. Right now you're looking at a, um, a chart of the Dow from the 2008-2009 crash. Following our trend line up, we can see here's the present right here. Alright, so why are we doing this? Well, in order to know where we're going, we're going to have to look at the past. But we're going to start in the recent past, and we're starting at, again, 2008-2009 crash. We can see it right there. So in 2008-2009, we went through the housing crash, the credit default swaps, <clears throat> and they started printing money like crazy. You can see this huge amount of green volume, and then our chart started going up. This is the end of George Bush, Obama. So they uh, did the bailout, and then we started climbing. They started printing money. We started climbing. We're inflating the stock market. And we get up to about Trump's, things are starting to turn down. And then we take off again. So about 2017, we pretty much go hyperbolic, and then we, 2000, um, yeah, 17, 18, and 19, we go hyperbolic, and we go up and again we're back here at the present so I've got a lot of lines on here we've got a lot of supports resistances um, and of course we've got this trend line I don't normally put that many on my chart but it's gonna make it easier for everyone to follow if you're not used to charting so when the Dow broke <clears throat> when we started getting all this news and the reality of the financial crash crash and other things that's going on. One of the main reasons why we were going down is because we've been printing money continuously almost from 2008. We get up here and they're doing the buybacks overnight this, overnight that. So anyway, when the Dow broke down, the first thing we did is hit our first support. Now it broke through this support fairly easy. One of the main reasons why is the longer you have a trend, the longer it's um, the stronger it is, right? So we had about a two-year trend here. So we started breaking down and we hit this support. That support was at about 22. And right there at that support, we also had our trend line coming through it, and we broke right through that trend line as well, which then became a ceiling or a resistance, right? And this trend line also became a resistance. So we have broken the trend and we've busted through our first support. We can see our second support here. It starts back about 2014. So this is about a six year trend. It's twice as long as this one. And we stopped. That's where we bounced. So it is, like I said again, 331. The futures um, are actually down 246, so we're 246 lower than we closed on 331, and that was, you know, today it was we were down about 400. So with everything going on in the world, with all this money printing we talked about, we had a problem here. We didn't um, address it. We've been printing, but let's get to the charting. So we broke through our first support and our trend line. We've come down to our second support. So we're charting this. So we can, like it said, to see where we're going. Where could we end up? We can see massive amounts of selling here. Massive amounts of selling. <clears throat> so our next support is going to be about 16,000. It's coming right through here. And when you look at where we're at now and the distance to there, that looks like that's going to transpire fairly quickly. We've got a lot of things going on. You know, if something, uh, if something changes in the news, if it's not so dreadful, then, you know, we can have a reprieve of, to some degree. Um, and I believe everybody knows what I'm talking about. So this is a huge drop so far. Everybody with a trading account, a savings account, or a pension knows exactly where we are. And it's, it's not pretty. So our next drop again is about 16000 And then when we breach this support right here... These have become ceilings, but when we <clears throat> are resistances, when we breach the support right here, our next stop 
is around 13.5, 14. And we can see we're back here. There's our 14. So we're about 14 on that. That being said, now we're going to back up. We're going to go back in the past. Because if you want to see the future, go back to the past. It'll tell you where we've been. And there's a good chance we'll be heading back through there. Or testing it, so to speak. So I'm going to move this chart on down. See if I can get it all in there. I'm going to do this one section at a time. So again, we started the chart 2008-2009 crash. We were going this way. Now we're backing it up. So once we break through that 13.5 to 14, our next resistance, folks, is going to be about 7,500. So there's our next support. I said resistance. I meant support. I apologize. So we can see this support, this support started forming in 1997. We've tested it. We tested it again in 2002, 2003. We came over. We had that massive drop during 2008, 2009. And we can see across this chart that has maintained its resistance. So or its support. Our Dow has not really broke through. It did right here, briefly. That's where we started our trend line. And then, of course, we made a V-shaped recovery and we took off. We were gone with it. My personal thoughts. <clears throat> this is a strong support. So there's high probability we could hold this. <clears throat> but seeing we never fixed the problems that we had in 2008-2009, we just simply printed, then there's a good chance that when we come off the top over here, that we, we could breach that. And I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. But where I might be right is because, again, I don't want to be redundant. We started printing here instead of fixing problems. And so we've printed a lot of money. And now on the way down, we're printing a lot of money. And so there's a good chance we might go below that. I hope this uh, this chart has helped people out there. If you're a chartist, give me your opinion. Uh, if you disagree with me. If you don't chart much, you know, please ask a question. Throw out some ideas on a stock you might want charted. And we'll look at it. But remember, sometimes you have to go back. In 2008, I was going back 20 years to find that bottom on certain stocks. But this is the Dow. So again, if you have any questions, um, leave them. If I can help you, I will. If you have any comments, leave them. Be nice, please. And if you're a chartist like I am and have been for many years, then uh, just fall. So I hope y'all have a good evening. Good luck. Again, I hope this does not transpire. There's a good chance it will. So y'all have a good night. And uh, I'll chart the S&P next. Thank you.